Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got some uh, passing plays for you guys today. I'm using the Niners playbook. Uh, the scheme I'm going to show you, though, is also in the Buccaneers playbook. Uh, two of my favorite books uh, that I put out this year on my Patreon, on my Join Out community, and on my uh, website. Uh, the Bucks, the Niners, um, both have this set up. And I'm thinking about, I'm honestly using, if you're watching my gameplays recently, you know that I'm using the Niners playbook quite a bit. I really am loving the Niners playbook. I told you guys today, I was hoping to put out... I was hoping to have done a running scheme out of the single back ace, which is going to have to wait until tomorrow because they just take a little bit longer to do. Gameplays are longer to do uh, than these practice mode videos. Uh, but I'm going to show you guys that tomorrow. But today, I'm going to show you a really explosive passing scheme that I also use in my videos quite a bit, in my gameplays quite a bit, and that's the gun split close. This is probably one of my go-to formations right now. I already put out a part one. Uh, from this particular uh, playbook, I'll, I'll put a link in the description below if you missed part one. I went over the running plays, I went over the PAF slide, uh, and I also went over the halfback wheel, which I'm going to touch on a little bit in today's video, because like I said, today I'm going over the most explosive passing plays. With that being said, though, the first play I'm going to show, and this is probably one of the few passing plays in the entire game you need, that's the double ends. Uh, this is one of the best passing plays, no matter what defense you run. So I'm going to start off with that, and then, like I said, I'll come back around and show a couple of more passing plays uh, to complete this this series because the gun split close is still one of the best passing schemes in the game in my opinion so let's go and let's pick that the double in uh we'll go and we'll start off with uh we usually start off with cover two but this is not really a great cover two play so we're going to start off with cover three now before i get into the video as always i just want to let you guys know that this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at mmoxp.com if you guys are trying to get your mutt team up make sure to check them out link in the description below and use discount code money shot to get five percent off your order uh, to get your mutt team up because right now uh it's extremely competitive i mean there's 97 overall cards dropping already so if you need some coins to get those guys check them out let them know that uh, i sent you other than that as far as the cover three goes this particular play can really beat a lot of different defenses uh, when it comes to cover three I'm not a huge fan of plays that cross the field like I said I do have a cover three beater out of this play as well which I'm going to show you but I do find myself using this play quite a bit because it's so flexible so pretty much anytime you see your opponent have a single high safety this defense is going to beat it and it doesn't really matter what uh, setup you do like typically if it's like a cover one man you don't really have to do anything if it's cover zero you don't have to do anything this play is going to work but if it's a cover three you want to motion this guy out here put them on an out route and then smart route them about 10 yards that's about it uh, that's all you really have to do and the x route's going to get going i like plays like this i mean you really have a good check down with the rb route obviously uh, i'm going to hit this running back you know i'll steal that all game if my opponent's going to give me that i'll take that but at the end of the day if you want to try to get explosive plays you can ultimately you can just take this check down away completely give yourself as much blocking as possible this is going to be one of the better blocking formations in the game and then the second this x route crosses you can see that that guy that uh the, the cornerback over there, Patrick Peterson, Pro Bowl cornerback, bit on that underneath route. If you don't motion this guy out, this cornerback won't bite. If he stays in, he won't bite. But you can see he just stays right all over that, and he's just way out of position. It's really the pre-snap motion is what makes him bite on that route. If you don't motion him out, if you leave him here, he's not going to get that done. So making that pre-snap motion really is key. And then you can see he just basically sits on that route the entire time uh, while he's got no position. Once he finally realizes there's a guy crossing into his territory, he He's nowhere near in position to make a play, making this a super easy one-play touchdown. So while this um, this RB route is an excellent checkdown against under just about any zone, if you're trying to hit that home run, it's probably best to block him. So pass blocking him, out route, smart route, the B route here, and that's all you really got to do. I also like to try to roll in the direction of the throw. I find that that helps. Uh, you can see we got plenty of pass blocking here. And there, I mean, I, I kind of was, I kind of threw that <laughs> at the wrong time. As you can see, it's an easy one-play touchdown. Against cover four drop show two, all I really have to do is motion out the Y route. I'll typically block the running back. I find it's best to put the B route in a smoke route. Uh, but all these things are really, uh, you know, they're not 100% necessary. I also like to roll in the direction of where I'm throwing because this is not an easy throw for every quarterback. But you can see that that route just splits the safeties. A better check down method would probably put the B route on a drag. You can leave the running back doing the table route also. I just find that the more blocking, the better since I'm aiming for a deep pass here. Uh, and that's pretty much what's going to be, you know, what gets that play off. Because you can see, even with everybody blocking, you can still have guys come in and mess up the play. So at the end of the day, uh, you know, it, to me, it's best to have more blocking. 
I also feel like the uh, the smoke route's probably more important than um, t f as far as the play working than the actual drag. So I would say leaving him in a smoke. If you're trying to hit a home run, the smoke is going to make the most sense. You can see it collapses the uh, formation the best uh, compared to any other uh, you know adjustment you can make. So to me, a smoke route is probably the most important thing to do. Against cover four quarters, you can just simply put the Y route on a comeback, block the RB route just to give yourself a little extra protection. That's probably going to be the smartest thing to do. And uh, ultimately, this X route here is just going to completely glitch out the formation uh, which is something that you know cover four quarters is really one of the easier formations to glitch honestly all you really need is four routes if you if you ha if you evenly spread these routes out properly and I'm not really gonna go over that too much but <clears throat> all you really need is a fourth route you kind of like when it comes to cover four quarters if you split the field in half and you put two routes on each side uh as long as three of those routes are short typically the fourth one is is an easy uh way to glitch out the formation as you can see right here once again i mean they're actually through a little bit early uh but super easy super easy play against cover four quarters so the doubles in really has anything you need for uh cover three or cover four any cover three or cover four zone doesn't really have anything for cover two though so i'm gonna go ahead and pick the next play which is specifically going to be a cover two play and that's going to be the x drag so on a play like this you're going to need more space than you typically would uh, you're gonna have to run us to the open side of the field because this is a very pinpoint accurate throw needed for this i'm not even sure if jimmy garoppolo really has the arm for it but we're gonna run anyway so we're just gonna motion out the b route then we're just gonna streak the a route that's all we really have to do the rest of the play is pretty well set up for cover two uh, and we're just basically waiting for this cornerback to slow down to react to that oncoming drag and we're just going to hit a bullet and a pass lead to the outside for a big play it's not a one play touchdown or anything like that uh but it's going to be a very big play i mean it's possible to get a one play touchdown depending on what you have on the back side uh you know but not necessarily something that i'm really hoping for so right here i mean like i could try to catch and run that but that safety is typically going to hit me at the sideline and, and get you out of bounds that's why to me it's best just to get that safe catch uh, and make sure that you get as many yards as possible. I mean, it's a good 20 to 25 yard play. No reason to be greedy and try to force more than what's really there. So you can see I'm getting close to 30 yards on the play. So next up, I'll do a couple of man-beating plays uh, because there's a couple on here that are really good. The first play uh, beat man, but some of these other plays are going to do it in a much easier fashion. So the slot curl would probably be the next one. That speed out route is something that I mentioned in a gameplay video recently. Uh, that's a really good pl play against pretty much any man coverage. So this is going to be another play. It's going to be best against like man cover one and stuff like that. But you can see this speed out route. It's pretty much going to be just about any man coverage. I'm in a man cover two right now, and this X route, all I really need to do is, uh, you know, the, the basic way that this this cornerback plays is almost like he's playing like a streak. And if you see the cornerback turn like he is here where he's turning to run, the second you make that pass, typically in the break, it's going to be open just about every time. So if I show it here in the replay, I mean, this is really easy what you're looking for. At any point in time, if this cornerback turns this dramatically, uh, even at this point, if he turns, if you can see his back, that's going to be an easy completion because he's turning like he's like he's guarding a sprint uh, up the field, like he's guarding a, a streak route or something like that or a fade or something, uh, when in reality, the second he makes his break, all I have to do is throw the ball. I guarantee I'm throwing it right about now. Uh, and we have an easy completion i mean that's that's already out of my hand uh because like i said i guess I, I mean i've run this so many times i can really anticipate that break uh and it's just it's just like stealing i mean this is one of the easiest man beating routes in the game but once again this is another play that's all about timing if you throw it too early you can see how that cornerback can react so you have to make sure that you're throwing this on time or else i mean like i said you're basically just waiting for that cornerback to turn his back the second that cornerback turns his back it's easy money but if you throw it too early you're going to give that cornerback a chance to, uh, to to flip his hips i mean right here he's not even turned around yet you can see i mean there's just there's a good there's a right way to do it and there's a wrong way to do it so make sure you go into practice mode and get the timing down on this route now a more explosive man cover one beater would be the z spot now this is something you could also run against man zero but i'm going to go ahead i'm going to pick man cover one because it's really best against that now this is pretty much on the on the left side you have a man beating concept and on the right side you probably have more of a cover two concept obviously the uh if you guess wrong the rb route the table route is still a really good uh zone concept but against any man coverage i'm going to motion out the x route here put them on a smart route uh, and that's going to be pretty much it the streak will pull the cover one safety the other way and then you're just kind of waiting for this guy to get upfield uh and he's typically going to be past the corners just about every time that smart route will make it work out like it's a man zero you probably have to motion him out i'm only motioning him out because i want the cover one safety to bite more on 
the B route. So that's what, it's what's going to do that, give that more of an effect. Once again, if you throw this too early, it can be problems. You can see right there, I definitely didn't wait until he gets past the cornerback. Uh, you really just need to wait uh, till the to the uh, X routes even before you make the pass, and you're pretty much just going to be lobbing it up uh, for an easy catch and run. Uh, so let's go. Let's do that one more time. Like I said, right there, you can see he's kind of getting flipped around. Then if I lob it up on timing, I mean, it really is just me switching over and trying to outsprint that DB. Now I don't really know if the uh, the X route really has the speed needed to get past the way that I might uh, a more explosive uh, speed receiver. But you can see that he's definitely giving me an opportunity every time to get past that cornerback, which is really all you need to make the play. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. As always, if you guys want to see more Niner stuff, do me a favor, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. I do plan on putting out a single back ace scheme tomorrow, so please hit the like button for that. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Much shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.